as always, the centre's the hardest working players on the court. She has earned a well-earned rest. As we look back at the highlights and the best of the action of what was a sensational game. We'll look at the highlights then. There is Enajwa, the star of the week's netball. Singapore tried their best. Charmaine So did what she could, but the hustle from goalkeeper Farhana and Nura Mira in that first half was sensational. And there was nothing they could do with no Lily Chen there, surprisingly not selected in the two defensive positions. No Lily Chen to hold the fort for Singapore. They were wide open to that onslaught from Enajwa. You look at that first half, the first half they lost by 36 to 12. They were never going to come back from 24 points behind. The shooting from Anajwa, look at the emotion on her face, roared on by the adoring crowd. Into the second half, well, Lily Chen's introduction didn't really make much difference in truth. The look on her face tells you all you need to know about the Singapore story here. An exit, Anajwa, enter Narashkin. Absolutely sensational scenes. And that, for me, will be one of the abiding images of these games. The emotion show by Anajwa during this final and throughout the whole week of this netball competition. Narashkin, when she entered the fray, played more than her part as well. And at this part in proceedings, the crowd were just wishing for it to end so they could see these girls get what they deserve. And what they deserve is a gold medal. The 12th for Malaysia. A mention, an honourable mention to Karishma as well. Look at that kind of shooting for four and a half feet. And bearing in mind, she, in most people's eyes, is the third string shooter. How apt that she gets the glory at the end. And the scenes of emotion, it's what these girls have worked for. The Prime Minister and his wife are delighted. And very shortly, we'll get the medal ceremony as well. I believe that